Hi everyone, it's me, Lindsay, with Equip Me OT, here today to talk about showering with an arm cast. So this is something that hits pretty close to home as we spent the last few weeks here at our house with our four-year-old daughter in an arm cast above the elbow. So we've had some time to really trial some things and I wanted to pass along what has worked really well for us so that hopefully you can use it in whatever situation you may find yourself in. So let's start with how we set up the shower situation. Our bathrooms all have tub shower combinations. I found it really important to use a tub seat like this one that I'm sitting on here because I found that early on in the recovery process, one, I absolutely did not want her to stumble in the shower and possibly hurt herself so I gave her a seat loaded all the way down to the bottom and it was able to be a really comfortable spot for her to sit while we did her showers now my daughter prefers taking showers over baths if you were doing a bath situation you may not need this but just for a heads up the seat is really a good idea especially early on when she was using the soft splint cast that they gave her in the emergency room. That was a very different experience than the hard cast. It's far less protective. So the falls we really wanted to prevent and especially in that shower situation on that slippery floor. So we used also a handheld shower head. And I think this was so important because it allowed us to guide the water away from the cast. Early on, we didn't use the most effective cast cover solutions. And I'll explain why in a minute. So we had to use the handheld shower head to guide the water and we kind of guided her hair away from the shower or from the uh, cast. And that way the water wasn't pouring down into the cast and getting it really, really soaking wet. So I'll explain and I'll show some pictures here of what the shower heads we have look like, but they worked really, really well to help make this process as easy and clean as possible. All right, so let's get into the cast covers. I used three different cast covers for her and I'll explain why we chose each one for the time we did. So the very first cast cover we used was the old standby of a garbage bag, some tape, and some press and seal. Okay, so why would I use this strategy when I have other strategies available? Well, early on she was in a soft cast, which was quite large. She was also very sore and tender. So any jostling or moving of the arm would make her upset. And so I really wanted something that was easy to apply. And of course, a garbage bag, you're gonna have a very large opening. So when I put it on her, I would open the bag up all the way as wide as it would go and simply guide her arm in. The really important thing when you're putting on a cast cover garbage bag is you want to make sure the area at the upper arm is really as tight and flat as physically possible. So she had her elbow in a bent position like this. So I would just flatten this portion out and then place this on it as tight as I could and then fix it in place with a bit of duct tape. I never apply tape directly to the skin. It causes irritation, it's insult to injury when you go to remove it, especially in a little kid, it was it's just too much. So I really never recommend that. That's where the press and seal is going to come in. I simply ripped off a small portion of the press and seal and because it is sticky and will it will stick both to the skin and to the plastic of the bag, it provides a nice gasket seal. You can also use a rubber um, material or silicone material like on an exercise band. I've done that as well, where you wrap that around the top and that can give you a little bit more seal as well. Uh, this worked to prevent about 95% of the water from dripping down into the cast and keeping it fairly dry. Again, it was really important with this type of cast that we guide the water away from it. So again, I would have her bring her hair to the side. We'd use the handheld shower head. We really avoided spraying or submerging that area as much as possible. Now, once she was in a solid cast following surgery, she was placed into a solid, more traditional cast, far more protective. And after a few days, she was starting to be more comfortable. But those first few days we used this cast cover. So this was one, you've probably seen these before if you've looked on cast covers, this is a pretty standard. They're nice and big, so you can see how much space there is in here for the arm to be in. So if it's a larger cast or a larger arm, these are youth sizes, you wanna make sure you get the right size for you. It has a gasket seal at the top, the nice thing about it is you can stretch it pretty wide so that you can get the arm in. But as you can imagine, this is a far smaller and requires a little bit more jiggling of the arm. So again, when she was pretty sore, this one worked okay, but it was a little bit more jostling than obviously putting on the garbage bag. So be aware that this will require that the arm be kind of maneuvered through it. It blocked about, I'd say 98% of the water. This was pretty good. Um, a little bit better than the garbage bag, but still not a 100% seal. So definitely still using the same strategy of not applying the water directly over this. Because this is flat, the water likes to pool on it and if it presses down enough, 
water will get in. So you really want to prevent this from getting soaked. This is not something I would recommend submerging in a bathtub or a, or a swimming situation. This is really just to protect that cast. And after taking it off, the other thing that you need to consider is when you remove it, if you press down, you're going to dump whatever remnant water is on this into the cast. So make sure you lift up like this when you go to remove it and that will keep the water up and out of the cast versus dumping it down in. Believe us, we've learned this from experience, okay? And always have, you know, your trusty blow dryer on, on standby in case you get the cast a little bit damp, you can dry it quickly. All right, the last cast cover and by far the most effective one we've used so far is by Blocks. This cast cover is actually manufactured in England. It's a very, very nice product. Um, as you can see, it's got a really little opening at the top, but it has a lot of stretch to it. It's basically a balloon, okay? So the, the arm is going to be slid into this. It takes a little bit of jostling, as you can imagine, because it's a bit tight. But you can see it's a much less cumbersome, and it covers the cast really, really effectively. We've used this one, and it prevented 100% of the water in our situation from getting onto the cast, which is incredible. So they you recommend this one as um, kind of your go-to if you're going to be attempting to swim or do anything with more submerging a cast. So this is great for that. I've seen a lot of reviews on Amazon where people say they use these on vacations and all of that. We've only used it in our shower situations, and it has worked really well. One very important note about this cast cover, it is made of latex rubber. So if you have a latex allergy or a concern about a latex allergy, this product will not be uh, appropriate for your use. But overall, a wonderful product, keeps the cast completely dry, excellent peace of mind, and about two weeks into her recovery process, this is our go-to because one, her pain is completely managed. She doesn't report any discomfort at this point. The jostling of putting this on does not bother her anymore. The one thing that she is bothered by a little bit is the tightness of this seal around the upper arm. It takes a little bit of getting used to, and it can be a little pinchy when you're applying it, so just be aware. Um, kids will always tell you how they're feeling, so no worries about that. But this is a great option if you're looking for something that will really, really seal the water out. The other two options are also good, but obviously have their limitations. So there you have it. Some ways to make sure you're successful with showering when you're in an arm cast, whether it's yourself or a child or a loved one. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. And of course, if you need more information on how to stay safe and independent in your home and community, consider subscribing to Equip Me OT. Thank you.